she has her sundress lifted up and she never wore underwears, right? And Shelly is on her knees on the ground, munching away. Hello and welcome to another episode of Storytime. I'm your host, Betty Shabin. And boy, I have a great, great story for you today. The year was 1997. I had just moved to Las Vegas with my ex, which was my girlfriend at the time, the star of my show down in Hawaii. And she was from Vegas. She wanted to go back to Vegas. So I moved back with her because I'm such a nice guy. I'm such a pleaser. So she had a, a girlfriend by the name of Shelly. I had never met Shelly before. We had gone out to dinner with her and her sugar daddy one time. Her sugar daddy was Mr. Rickless, who was married to Pia Zadora, who was, I'm not going to talk about this because he's years ago, and I think Mr. Rickless is dead. And he used to uh, own Revlon Cosmetics, and he had sold it for about $90 million back in those days. And then he also owned the Riviera Hotel and Casino. So this guy was a billionaire. And he was Shelly's sugar daddy. Now, Shelly was just a, a little working girl that had few sugar daddies, and that's all she did. She had a beautiful home, beautiful mansion in Las Vegas that Mr. Rickless gave it to her, and uh, beautiful, nice, brand new cars all year, and everything else like that. And she also had a, a black girlfriend, black boyfriend on the side, go figure. So, uh, my girlfriend and I at the time, which by the way, those pictures, uh, is really my girlfriend is one of them, and the other one is Shelly. So Shelly, so you'll know, if you've seen the movie Casino, she was uh, in the part where Joe Pesci was in a restaurant with a couple of chicks, and he takes one of them out, the blonde, really hot blonde, big hair with the fur coat, and they go into his Cadillac, into Joe Pesci's Cadillac, and while he's talking to her, he grabs her by the hand and says, yeah, 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 and he kind of pushes her down to give him a blowjob. That's Shelly, and guess what? She didn't have to act to do that part, okay? She was just being herself because she is that girl. She is a pleaser. So we're supposed to go and meet Shelly at her house. She want to show us the home and her new house that Mr. Rickless just got her. We had gone to dinner together at, um, I forgot the name of the place. It was a five-star restaurant off Paradise right by um, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. And uh, so she wanted to, to have us over for uh, cocktails and whatever else. So I walk in with my girlfriend and we we're checking out the place and her dogs and beautiful, beautiful mansion, kind of like the one you see in the, in the thumbnail in the picture. And we're going in and she's showing us all these rooms and everything. And, um, and then I go in the back and she's showing us the pool and all that. And, and she said, hey, uh, to my girlfriend, hey, let's go, I wanna show you something, right? So I'm outside looking at the, the jacuzzi and the pool and she had a guest home. So I'm checking it out. And she goes, yeah, just go ahead and check whatever you want to. Well, I'm like, okay, this is cool. So I'm sitting out back in one of the uh, lounge chairs by the pool because I love pools and everything. And it was uh, around February. So it wasn't really that cold. It was pretty nice at the time, February or March or something like that. So Oh, I'm sitting there five minutes, 10 minutes go by, 15 minutes. I don't hear anything. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what they're doing. You guessed it. I go in there, I go in, there, just checking out the downstairs. And this is a huge house. It's like an eight bedroom mansion. Okay. It's like 15,000 square feet or some crazy stuff, right? And where she lived, the gated community, there was nothing but big mansions like this. So, I'm checking out the place, looking around and everything room by room. And then one of the rooms, before I went upstairs, one of the rooms I looked into was like, kind of like a 60s vibe in there. So obviously an interior decorator came in and did the house. And I go in there and lo and behold, my girlfriend is sitting up with her legs wide open and she has her sundress lifted up and she never wore Underwears, right? And Shelly is on her knees on the ground, munching away.
Yeah, she was going at it. And you know what? She did not even skip a beat. She did not stop. They knew I was coming. It was all set up, right? I did not know at the time. And of course, obviously they were into each other and they're used to bang each other all the time, which I kind of guessed at, obviously. And uh, needless to say, I sat there, watched for a little bit. And it was like, getting me really excited. So I'm like, you know what? Screw this. So I went over there, took my clothes off and went to town. Banging away. That's right. You know me by now. If you've been watching these story times on this channel, you know, you know, I love sex and I love all this stuff. So we had a great time. We were playing all over the house for about, I'm not kidding you, a day and a half. Okay. And they were doing Coke and they were doing all sorts of stuff, which, you know, I wasn't again, I was against it and everything, but I didn't want her to, I didn't want my girlfriend to get back into it because I knew she had a problem before. So I wasn't really happy about that, to be honest with you, but at the time, I thought she could handle it and because I'm not an addict. I don't know how it is. And I don't know how what it is when people can't stop. But needless to say, that was a mistake and ended up costing us our relationship because she kept doing coke. And she was going to do it regardless. But anyway, so uh, we had a great time. We did all sorts of combinations. I can let your mind go wild because I can't discuss this here. But I'm working on getting on another platform where we can talk about everything and anything. I can give you really graphic details. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed another episode of Storytime. I'm your host, Freddie Shabin. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay happy. And have lots of sex. Bye. Ooh.